So hey guys, in this video, I will let you know how to make your ESP32 base projects much smaller. Means you can make this project at this size. Yes, they both are the same smart BLE kitchen project. So let's quickly get started. So till now, I already made a lot of projects using ESP32 board, but what I did is I used the ESP32 development board rather than the ESP32 chip. Now the difference between both of them is the ESP32 development board has built in voltage regulator IC, built in programmer IC and built in the USB port to program this ESP32 chip, okay? While the ESP32 chip has only the chip, it don't have all of the components, okay? But now the question is when to use chip and when to use the board. See, when you're prototyping the project, go for the development board. It will be much more easier to prototype your projects uh, on that particular board. But once you finalize your project, your code is finalized, your hardware is finalized, what you can do is you can use the ESP32 chip that will consume way, way more lesser space than the development board, okay? So in this video, I'll be guiding you uh, how to make that uh, ESP32 chip based project, like how to program it, uh, what components you will read, everything I will let you know in this video, okay? So starting with the hardware. So to make this particular uh, ESP32 chip based project, you will require the ESP32 chip first of all. Now this is the same ESP32 room 32 chip, which is used inside the ESP32 development board. After that, now you have two choices. Either you can design your own custom PCB for your project where you can just add the pads for this ESP32 chip or what you can do is you can order a PCB, a like breakout board PCB, you can say just like this. So this is the breakout PCB on which we can directly shoulder the ESP32 chip. And along with this PCB, you'll also get uh, two push buttons, one for reset and one for GPIO zero. That means the boot button. Okay. Now the benefit of using this breakout PCB is that you no longer need to design the PCB by your own. And the second thing, you can get this particular PCB right now. It means you can go to nearby electronics store or Radio Shack and you can get this PCB. And in case you don't get this PCB, I'll attach the link for both that ESP32 chip and this breakout PCB in the uh, description of this video so you can purchase it online as well, okay? So that's the benefit of breakout board PCB. I'll recommend this particular breakout as it will eliminate the designing of the PCB, okay? No, it is not at all sponsored by this company. We have a different sponsor. I'll soon let you know. Now, one thing which is missing inside it is we do require two very, very, very small resistor, like 10 kilo ohm resistor, uh, which would be acting as pull up resistor for both the switches, which is not at all provided inside this kit. So you need to get those resistors as well. Okay. Now, after getting these all component, we just directly went to the shouldering desk. Now, shouldering these SMD components do require a couple of skills and also the precise tools for shouldering them. Okay. But I was having Kedar with me, who was expert in this particular SMD shouldering. So he shouldered this ESP32 chip, the resistors and buttons quite neatly on the PCB. And after shouldering all the components, the PCB project looks like this. As you can see, the tiny ESP32 board with a lot of GPIOs exposed at the back. So yeah, this is how our ESP32 chip based board looks like. It's kind of our own made development board, isn't it? But one thing is missing. We, we don't have anything to program this board. No, no USB port, no programming chip, nothing. So the question is how, how to program it? No, what? not using FTDI programmer. Of course you can, but you don't need to purchase that external FTDI converter. Well, you can use your own ESP32 development board to program this ESP32 chip. Yes, you can do that. Now I will let you know how to program this small ESP32 chip after the sponsorship ad. This video is sponsored by LTM, which is a PCB designer based software company. Now let me tell you one very interesting, very unique feature about this software, which I bet you haven't seen in any other PCB designing software. And that feature is called as follow me mode. Now, this is truly very useful feature, which I can't explain it in simple words. Rather, let me show you the actual video of this particular feature. Have you seen that? The path automatically adapts the curve quite seamlessly. And now I can imagine making this kind of path in any other PCB designing software would be really a tedious task for sure. Now you can also try this and many other features of this PCB designing software by just clicking on the link mentioned in the description. Yes, by clicking on that link, you'll be getting a free trial version of LTM designer software. So go ahead, try it out. And if you find it interesting, you can purchase this software later on. Welcome back. Now to program the ESP32 chip using the ESP32 development board, you have to make the connections something like this. That's it with this little connections. Now you can program this ESP32 chip 
just like you program your ESP32 development board. Have a look to the code. So here is the scan Wi-Fi example code opened up. So I'll select the right board, which is the do it devkit v1, of course. After that, I'll select the right COM port and straight away hit the upload button. Now here onto the ESP32 chip side, you have to press and hold the boot button. And in the meantime, you have to press the reset button once just to make this chip go inside the boot mode. As you can see, the code started uploading. After a few seconds, as you can see, the code is successfully uploaded. And if I open the serial monitor, as you can see, it is working as expected. It's scanning the nearby Wi-Fi networks and it's displaying it onto the serial monitor. So it was that easy to program this small ESP32 chip. It was easy, isn't it? Do click the like button and let me know if it was easy or not. After that, what I did is, as I wanted to make my own smart BLE keychain project using it, I just shouldered this development board, like kind of development board onto a general purpose PCB. And on the back side, I attached the battery and a battery charging module. And now our smart BLE keychain is ready for some action. And this time it actually looks like a keychain, like the small little keychain. Earlier it was this big. And now as you can see, I can easily open my door using the Smart BLE Kitchen project. Now if you're not aware about this project, I recommend you to watch this amazing project whose link is in the i button as well as in the description to check it out. Okay, so our purpose was solved. Now we can make our ESP32 based project way, way, way more smaller. Now do smash the like button if you really love the concepts and also let me know in the comments, was this method of programming the ESP32 chip easy or do you have more easier method do let me know your thoughts in the comment and that being said just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video and explore learn share with me techie sms